rund, 5 minut każda. And here we go, TFL Bantamweight Championship match. The champion with red tape, the challenger with blue. You have to think that it's been two years, so Piaszewicz should be in top physical form for this matchup. It's been a long time coming. This crowd has not stopped the whole night. How much energy they have. There's so much passion in this arena here tonight. It's absolutely remarkable. Just a little bit out of range there is the champ. Boy, just like that, the atmosphere completely changes once again as everybody just leans a little bit more forward in their chairs here with the anticipation as these two continue. Try to feel each other out. Neither man in a hurry here. They know this is a five round fight. So it's not a sprint. You have to pace yourself. 25 minutes inside the cage. It's a marathon, believe me guys. Most of us, if we're not in fighting shape, get out of breath just running up a flight of stairs. <laughs> These two guys gonna go at it tooth and nail for five rounds of five minutes. Overhand right, still out of range there from the challenger, Mariusz Ioniak. And now they lock it up. Ioniak pressing Piaszewicz up against the cage. Piaszewicz has that left overhook on the right arm of the challenger. Up next, we are also going to have another championship matchup, an interim lightweight title fight. So a lot happening here tonight at CFL 15. Ooh, wow, look at that. Look at the speed of the left hand there from Mariusz Jolniak and now Piaszewicz looking for a right hand. Still sneaking that left leg inside, making it hard for Yoniak to really get a good position there. And now they almost mirror the image that they had before. Crowd looking on, getting impatient, cheering on Piaszewicz. Dropping his level just a bit here, trying to get to the hips or the legs, but that's difficult with the right arm of Piaszewicz where it is, trapping the left arm of Yoniak, preventing him from getting down any lower. Boy, this is an MMA country, I'll tell you what guys. Poland is an MMA country. They're producing some of the best athletes in the sport right now. And there's, there's events every weekend here in this country somewhere some promotion sometimes two or three big events per weekend but there's always some cage fighting to be found nice move there by Joniak trying to get inside but Piaszewicz still working hard against the cage now he's going to try to attack the leg and roll back with him. Instead, Piaszewicz adjusts his body weight. Oh, right back up against the cage now, but now in a different position here. Piaszewicz has a hold of the head. Right arm going. No, oh, now a little elbow there. May have hit him in the ear. Right hand finds a home. A lot of times in a position like this, you have to exert so much energy, so much force, so much will on your opponent. It's almost a lot mental as it is physical too. You're 
Now they finally go down to the canvas. It's a battle of attrition sometimes. End of round one. Well, we saw the striking get off to a little bit of a slow start here between these two, but then once the action got up against the cage, both guys, again, exerting a lot of energy. Not a huge payoff in that kind of situation if you're a fan and expecting fireworks, as a lot of people are in this matchup. But it's a grueling round, and when you're in a five-round fight, rounds like that, will seriously take their toll. <laughs> Round two. Kuchkemi <laughs> strikes first with the low kick. Tries to bring the push kick upstairs. Just a little bit out of range there by Mariusz Joniak. Joniak not accustomed to losing 2-0 and oh, and would like to keep that going. Just the icing on the cake would be that you're undefeated. Here he goes. Repetitive lefts and rights there as he backs Piszkiewicz up against the cage once again. Piszkiewicz turns the tables on him. Left over hook. Looking to lower his body position, but Yoniak. Whoa, look at this now. Oh my, a knee may have clipped him there. Both men still struggling for that takedown, and whenever they get down low like that, Yoniak looking to level him with a knee. Drops his. Level there, tries to grab the leg, Pieszkiewicz trying to move in on the back. Pieszkiewicz, look at the balance there by him. Almost looking to uh, pop out the arm into a Kimura situation, but instead they battle for position here as he's trying to get the arm. Pieszkiewicz trying to get the arm now. Yoniakto adjusts, and that's the end of that. But for now, on the ground, Yoniak on top. This is what he's been working for. See what he can do from here now. What is his game plan? Yeshkevich on his side, very close to the cage. Elbow there. Yoniak trying to contend with Pieszkiewicz who changes the position on him. He's got that guillotine in though very tight. It looks like he could have the wrist under the chin. But uh, Pieszkiewicz, he's getting his head at a very awkward angle, but I think he's lost the arm now and he's out. A lot of people on their feet here at cage side, looking on carefully. They've got the big screen that they can look up at, but they are so, so passionate here in Poland about MMA. So many people here. Nobody's sitting at a 45 degree angle. Everybody looking forward, leaning forward, their hands on their elbows, on their knees. See the knees and the shins inside there. Right hand goes in, tries to kick him off, but Pieszewicz adjusts now. What is this? He's got his head figure forward now. He's got to be very careful here about his neck. 
He's really got him locked up here in this north-south position. He has got a death grip on the head here, trying to twist off his head like a bottle cap with his legs. Well, I don't know if he's gonna submit him here, but he's definitely got that head trapped for now. If he can tighten it up, he could get a submission. He's trying to get that left leg out from the back of his head. He's fighting him off now. That might change his position. Trying to put his shin and his knee, and he freed himself. Rolls through now, he's got the Riddick and choke on there, there's the tap and it's over. Just like that lightning quick submission there. Jakub Yashevich with a successful defense of the TFL Bantamweight Championship here tonight. It all happened so quickly in Mario Joniak still trying to figure out what happened. Let's take another look at it and see what happened here. Look at him roll through, but he ended up giving his back up, and before he knew what was even going on, he was tapping out. Ladies and gentlemen, Well, it just goes to show, folks, absolutely anything is possible at any point in time in the matchup. Just when you thought that maybe Mario Janiak had it all wrapped up in a nice little package with that figure four around the head, Jakub Yashevich wrinkled out, slapped on a rear naked choke, and this thing was history. There's your promoter, Jacek Sarana in the ring next to the champion. Congratulations to Jakub Pieszewicz. After two long years, a successful title defense here tonight at TFL 15. Coming up next, folks, the main event of the evening, the TFL interim lightweight title up for grabs. Don't you dare go anywhere. Jakub, wczoraj mieliśmy okazję porozmawiać. Była przerwa, której nie zmarnowałeś na odpoczywanie, tylko na ciężki trening. Jak już po walce oceniasz ten pojedynek? Czy wszystko poszło zgodnie z założeniami, zgodnie z planem, z taktyką wyznaczoną przez narożnik? E, no, wbrew mojemu oczekiwaniom bardzo dobrze pracował przy siatce. Mocno nisko trzymało się twój środek ciężkości. Bardzo mocno dociskał do siatki, ciężko było go odwrócić. Także tutaj naprawdę pochwała dla mojego rywala. Bardzo dobry zawodnik i co? No cieszę się, że udało się wygrać. No przekrój takich technik poddania, jakie mieliśmy okazję zobaczyć. Godne mistrza, wielkie brawa! Cały czas mistrz Federacji TFL Jakub Piesiewicz. A już za chwilę ostatnia walka gali TFL, main event. 